Hey guys, this is uh, William Walker. Um, today we are going to be making some jig trailers. I am fresh out. Um, now, the thing I'm not fresh out of is jigs. It snowed here in Arkansas for like the first time in forever. So I am bored. And what I've done is make enough mo uh, jigs for probably the next two years. <laughs> I think I have 30 of them in here. Just the sorted colors. I use the just the do it football jig. Pretty rocky here by Beaver, so it's my choice. The football. Um, now I'm really wanting a variety of things. I want some dead action. I want some heavy action. And what I'm gonna end up shooting is gonna be um, my Moose Ridge molds 109. This is kind of like a bibble bug. Um, a lot of kicking action to that one. I've also got this um, 107 from Moose Ridge Molds as well. Can't tell I really like their molds. Um, this guy is very dead in the water, but it always catches fish. Uh, whatever. I really like that one. That's some decent ones last year on that. And then I got this Fusion X, very dirty, one of the first molds I ever got. Um, action pretty similar to the Pit Boss that you'll get from uh, Berkeley. Um, I do have some other guys down here that I'm going to throw on as well that I'm always using. One of them is going to be this cherry picker right here. I got these on the griddle warming up so that they're good and hot. So I don't have to worry about wasting any plastic and remotely any of this. Hopefully that helps them shoot clean. Um, a cherry picker. Love that guy. I got some big ones last year on that guy. Um, and I can't remember if it's this or I think it was actually the brush hog. But uh, you'll tell my back shot up here is there is a rod right up here. You probably can't see. Um, yeah, I broke my rod on a four and a half pound bass last year with one of these molds. So yeah, it was a good fish, but it still hurts, hurts losing a Bass X rod ever. And then I have the Essential Series Crawl, um, really good action uh, on like little like twitches. It'll kind of just kick, but when you actually reel it in, the thing has got a lot of thump. And then my new not new now, but my newest mold is this guy. It's the uh, Epic Leech. Um, not the big one, but like the Ned Leech from Epic Bait Molds. I honestly just find an excuse to shoot it. I'm sure it'll work as a jig trailer because it seems to work for everything. Anyway, so I'm gonna come up here. So what I'm gonna be shooting today is my 242 Bait Plastics. Plastic of choice, really clear. I don't burn it very often. I do burn it because I think we all forget. <sighs> Get busy. I have, I'm scatterbrained, so sometimes I forget. Um, I'm gonna be using that. I got some um, lure craft. Sometimes I'm gonna put in there as well at the end. Cause my dad may end up using some of this, and he he likes stinky baits. Um, I'm also gonna be. I'm so I'm gonna shoot it all in June bug as well. June bug. I just love it. A lot of dirty water at my dad's, which is probably where I'm going to go next. Um, it's the farm pond. June bug there just kills. Honestly, I feel like if they see it, they'll eat it. Um, around here, though, um, a little more clear water. June bug does still work. Um, but maybe next time I'll have to make some watermelon as well. I just don't have a ton of time today. I got a four-year-old inside with my wife. Please pray for her. I don't like to add my June bug until I absolutely need to. Um... I'm actually gonna add a little bit of softener because I just really like using it. There's probably no reason to. I'd rather lose a bait and have the uh, action. I can make more. Um, I'm also going to throw in, if I can find my heat stabilizer, I probably don't need it with this. Um, I just, I started with the Do It Central Series Plastisol and it's just a habit. Um, I'd rather not squirt my plastic. Like I said earlier, I'm very prone to forgetting things. All right, mix this guy up. Let's make sure that's all mixed in there. All right. Sweet. And then I'm gonna throw that guy in my microwave. I'm gonna start with a minute. I notice these small cups like to scorch really, really easily. In the meantime, I am gonna throw my mask on when I start pouring. I wanna take that out, I should say, not in the meantime. Um, 
yeah, I don't, I don't want to have cancer in the future. As much as I love this hobby, it's not worth cancer to me. Um, you can wear gloves. I learned that the hard way. Um, a lot of those brave YouTubers, no masks, no gloves. They are a different breed than me. All right, so it hits a minute. I'm gonna mix. I'm going to make sure that I don't scorch it. Mixing helps so much with that. When I first started, I feel like I would just plug it in there two minutes and I'd pull it out and I got yellow plastic, which doesn't really matter with June bug, but it bothers me. Oh, and I'm gonna throw some hyper ships in here today too. I recently found alpha pigments online. And I think everything I've made recently has had hyper shift in there. Just can't help myself. It looks too good. All right, here comes Darth Vader. Look at this baby. Put up some more. You know, sometimes I wonder if my wife is ever in the house going, where the heck are all my butter knives? And I also just realized I'm going to actually do some chartreuse today too. Um, with my Moose Ridge molds, I really want to make some chartreuse sauce for these, honestly. So let's, so I got a heat gun plugged in. Why not? I pretty much have, since I started out with it, I will want to make a change eventually, but oh man, come on. I started out using Gimmit stuff. I got that starter kit when I first started, so I had a ton of the chartreuse and like watermelon and stuff that I have just laying around. And I'm gonna put just a inner mount. <laughs> A lot of drops of the chartreuse. It is not thick at all. I think a lot of it is kind of hard packed in the bottom. I shook it out, but it's just such a thin color. Um, I'm gonna add some pearl white to it to kind of give it some backing. So yeah, you can even tell right there that that is just, you can't even tell there's color to it hardly. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna get some of this golden grub. Get some pearl white, like I said. Just wanna make sure that this actually is just not completely transparent. And as you can already tell, I do not measure. It's just all kind of the taste. Okay. Like, and what I really like to do is just not add very much. I can always come back and add more, but I can't take it away. Like once it's in there, it's in there. And, and okay, I'm gonna pour just the claws. Hey bud. Yeah. You guys can see this. Uh -huh. yes. Daddy, what? Birds. yes, birds. I, love I know you do, buddy. Okay, I'm just gonna pour the claws here. It's on it. Okay, there we go. Got those. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Got those done. I'll fold this down. Give me a little mixy. Mixing. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pour this guy here. Now I usually do not fill the antennas on this guy. It's just so hard. I don't As you can tell. I'm not a Chris Jones. Okay, there's that. These guys right here, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm not sure if you can. Oh, learn. Okay. Don't like what I just did there, but I had to bail out on that one. I'll pull it off later, no big deal. There we go. The one oh seven is complete. Put the right there. Not complete, but the claws. Got the one oh nine's claws. Jimbo is probably iced by now. But I have to pour this guy. 
There was a little slit in the trailer, and I thought that I was gonna pour each side, but it looks like it might just be easier for me to just start at the top. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, that was a thousand times easier, guys. I'm pretty sure he told me to do that when I bought the mold. This is what's happening outside, guys. You know you can hear him. And what? What you doing, buddy? You know what? I wonder how many times I actually let that thing hit. Hit. Done. Okay, this is hot. Um, yeah, as you can tell, I do not use a temperature gun. Never have. Probably never will. But I'm gonna guess this is. Let's go with way too hot. That's a good estimation of the heat. I put it with this one. Okay. There's that guy. Let's see that one. I'll let it run the back. You know what? I'm just going to leave it though because I'm curious what it's going to look like like that. I have a little bit of this left and I am super interested in shooting one of these cherry pickers. Yeah, we're doing it. Get some, uh... Ooh, you know what? And we should probably do that with the epic great one because I have it. <laughs> okay. Make sure this is clean before I take it in there. Okay. Right. We're probably going to go ahead and to put this on a slight. Oh, that's in the way. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot this bad boy. Alright. I don't think I have enough for this. The thing is, even if the bodies don't fill in, I don't care. Because all I really want is the tip, so. You know what? We're gonna do this. can. Let's see what this does. I mean, if it's trash, it's trash. If it's not, I'll take credit for it. Then we'll just close it up and see what happens. I'm sure it's going to be some flashing on the sides. It's because it's smushed. Oh, there it is. As so you can see, it does have a bubble because of me, not because of the mold. This mold shoots because of me. But there's a bubble right here. It's because I have enough plastisol. But I don't care, because I don't need that. Um, I'm probably going to forget about that June bug again. Um, because I have some scissors, and now I don't have some scissors. And then a very similar... You guys can even see what I'm doing. Yeah. Got a very similar spot. I'm going to pick it up now. I've already messed up. Over here. It's like a similar, I'm not going crazy here. I'm just making it for myself. If I was making it for somebody else, I would try so much harder. Just want treacherous tips. Yeah, okay. That's not going to destroy. Oh, yes, it is. That is a blister. It's like you have gloves or something. Sweet. Okay. So we got coming out of there. It's still kind of hot, so kind of stuck. 
Um, this guy, oh, it's one of my favorites. I mean, this guy just has just absurd action. It is soft, so you can tell that it's still kind of got that molten, not molten, um, just that, that center is definitely just on the cusp of being actual. Like soft plastic, not liquid. Uh -huh. Okay. Like I said, I'm just going to cut. right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut off like this top B for the head. It's still sticky because it just came out. And I'm going to go right there. Got that guy. And then I just want to like do a half claw. Again, half the claw. Check out my little dude. Okay. There's that one more here so you can see what I'm kind of doing here. This is the fun part. Lay the head in its place. I put some worm oil down. It makes it a little easier for me to actually place it where it needs to go. Okay. Got that guy. Um, there is a side on this cherry picker that has one of the digits and the two on his claws is slightly bigger. So I'm just making sure that I get that where it's supposed to be. Sweet, sweet. All the fun. <laughs> Guess I can make this shoes in this one. The set plush, that's good. The focus is the same. Yeah, this one's still, that, something about that mold, it just stays hot for so long. Sweet. Okay. I'm actually going to start with my flake this time. Um, just because, that, like I said, that June bug just doesn't have the integrity of some of my other colors. Um, so this is my... Hyper Shift powder that I love from Alpha Pigments. Um, I got a professional and use a clevis, not clevis, <laughs> a blade to scoop this in because I do not know what happened to my measuring spoons that I rarely ever use. So I guess my phone didn't have enough memory. <laughs> so um, we're going to the future now. I did finish. Um, sorry about that. Here's our Epic Leech. Very light color of the Jubilee with the dog hair. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay. You can kind of see it looks like bug in certain areas and then it'll kind of shift. I just can't get enough of that mold or that hyper shift from Alpha Pigments. This was the. Oh, sorry. Hold on, guys. This is still just a little sticky because I just came out. Um, here's the cherry picker. Same thing going on there. Um, now here's the craw, the essential the essential series craw. Turned out pretty good, even with the smushed antan uh, smushed claws. And of course, this doesn't have the shine that the other ones do, just because it is an essential series here. So I did end up putting a little bit more blue in there at the end, um, just because there's like that Moose Ridge molds craw here turned out really nice excited to throw that guy and then our other craw right here and then i mean i'm just so excited to throw this thing 
just looks so good. There's some flashing on there. I'm going to pull off. Even if I didn't, I know this would catch a fish. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for putting up with me. Hopefully I have something else loaded up here soon. Oh, as you can see, there is one that I must have not heat set all the way with that heat gun. So live and learn. Until next time, guys.